And let's make an animation of camera, a blank camera. It's pretty fine and it's pretty useful. And let's start from the save few points. Go to any one of them. I only want to get inside of the building. And this point is acceptable for these reasons and these goals. Now OK, and I want to activate the third person. And then the walking. And then collision gravity. OK, let's use uh, this wheel to up our, our man. And then now it's OK. Now we're ready to make a new kind of animation. So in first, I want to change the section tools. Yeah, that's this one. And now we're ready to make an animation. So let's start it. First, we have to add the scene, add scene, and let's name it camera. And this this point is the start point, so we have to make a new keyframe. But in first, we have to add a blank camera, right button, and add camera, blank camera. Now it's OK. And now we can capture first keyframe. Let's OK. And let's make a new time position. For example, 4 seconds. And then let's go. Let's go, go, go. And here's OK. And now everything's pretty simple. As usual, we hmm, set the time position then set the position of our camera and then we said we make a keyframe so next one about seven seconds and now let's go more the new one and now let's make a turn for one second And new one, and a new position, so we're making some kind of checkpoints for the for our camera, and now it's okay, and the color is pretty different it's. So green one, and you can see it. This one is for camera. This one is for section plane, and this one is for objects. And let's let's try the camera. Stop and let's play it. And now, as you can see, we are moving from our trajectory, from our in our building. And we're moving from one key point to another key point. If you want more precisely animation, you should should make more keyframes in in very often period of time. So you have you have to have a lot of time position, a lot of key point, and then we'll have the any kind of animation like this one. 